G'day Peter here, just a quick one. <clears throat> um, it's quite a role reversal here, um, but uh, why does my um, Vietnamese wife always leave the seat up? Uh, if you go to the toilet in the middle of the night and you're a bloke, um, you know, that might suit you fine, um, but if you're sitting down, you might just fall in. <laughs> and, and it's happened to me a couple of times, and it's the first time in my life it's ever, ever happened because in Australia the toilet seats are always down and women go crook when you leave them up. Now, I'm one of these blokes in Australia that always holds the lid in my hand, does my business, puts the lid back down, I never leave the seat up. Um, but I come to Vietnam, marry a Vietnamese wife, and she actually leaves the seat up all the time. And I thought, that's really funny. Like, that's so odd. Um, for starters, Western women bitch and whinge about this point all the time. You know, like it's a big deal. Um, and, uh, and so why does my Vietnamese woman, um, you know, leave it up all the time? Now, so I got to thinking about it. And let me explain. I'll just turn on the light in there because there's no light on at the moment. But, but all the bathrooms in Vietnam are wet bathrooms. So they've got this tap here that's conveniently high, you know, um, just above crutch level. You know, uh, you can figure out what it's for. Um, but, but your shower's right here and your toilet's right there. Uh, got the arse washer beside the toilet. And so, um, uh, and, and your toilet paper's always got a little hoodie to stop it getting wet from when you're having a shower. But, um, but actually they, they leave the seat up because if you have a shower in here, you want the seat up so then it dries. So, um, so you know, you have a shower and you leave your seat up so then it's dry when you, when you want to use it, you put it down and it's nice and dry. So, um, so that's the basic reason. The basic reason is that, you know, bathrooms in Vietnam are wet bathrooms. And so, you know, they, they literally, <laughs> it takes a bit of getting used to, but after you've been here a while, you realize actually, it's a bathroom I don't have to clean um, very much. You know, like, you know, the, the, uh, the, there's plenty of taps in here and shower roses and, and to clean it, you just wash it all down. It's, it's very easy to clean and, and you're in here having a shower. So even though everything gets wet, it all gets cleaned very easily. Um, and yeah, and so anyway, if you marry a Vietnamese lady, uh, don't, um, uh, don't walk out half asleep and hop on the toilet because you might fall in. Um, make sure you put the lid down first. Uh, anyway, or the seat down rather, not the lid. Um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you want more tips about living in Vietnam, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've got 25 subscribers at the moment, and so, you know, I need a thousand of them um, uh, uh, to conquer the world. Uh, or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, hit subscribe, and I'll update you with more insights as to living in Vietnam.